All right, so this is part three of our complex ion lab. Uh, again, we're going to be investigating the effect of having different ligands, but this time we're going to be uh, changing the ligands here on a cobalt uh, two uh, compound. So what we're going to take here is just have some of this uh, ionic compound here. I'm going to grab a small scoop here. I'm actually going to create two uh, different solutions of this here. So I don't have too much there. So we're going to have uh, some of the cobalt uh, two nitrate in the first test tube. Similarly, some of the cobalt two nitrate here as it gets clumped up uh, when we leave it for too long. So just a solid here. What we're going to do, we normally dissolve things in water. So for one of them, I'm just going to start off just with pure water. The other one here, I have a solution of six molar hydrochloric acid. So it's a fairly strong acid here. We're going to see what happens starting off with hydrochloric acid. Eventually, once the solutions are made, we're going to steadily add a little bit more water to it and see what happens. So starting off here with the cobalt 2 nitrate, let's just add a little bit of water. We use our stir stick to mash it up a little bit here. Uh, note the color uh, at the moment here. So this is the cobalt uh, two ion. Uh, we again have formed the hexa aqua compound because water is currently the only ligand. Okay. Let's make a comparison here with um, adding hydrochloric acid instead. Even though the hydrochloric acid being six molar here, it does have water because it's so concentrated of acid here. Uh, let's see uh, the impacts of this as a ligand. So let's add a little bit of hydrochloric acid here. You know, that's already very different in terms of what we had earlier. Just gonna add a little bit more just to make sure we uh, make the change as dramatic as we can. Okay. Okay. And then I'm gonna use a different stir stick here and mash this up a little bit here. Make sure that cobalt ion is actually dissolved. Okay. You already see a difference between these two here. Uh, again, this one here was uh, the cobalt ion here just in water. This is the cobalt ion in hydrochloric acid. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to see is there a sort of a replacement that happens if I now add water to both of these test tubes here. So starting off with the cobalt one here that already had water inside. So I'm not expecting uh, too big of a change here. As you're adding water, well, it was already aqua as a compound here. Not a whole lot of difference. But let's do this something similar here to the hydrochloric acid here. Uh, already it does contain water here, but let's see what happens as I add uh, even more water to it. So I'm going to add this. Uh, Try to add just slowly so you can actually see the difference. Okay. You already see uh, some of that color is disappearing. Uh, as I add water to it here, it's not just a sort of dilution. Right? Uh, we saw that the red color is still present here as I add water, but definitely we've sort of lost sight of that deeper, uh, almost purplish color. Basically what's happening here is the water as a ligand, the molarity is fairly high as well. Uh, we're seeing what happens as water's ligand actually replaces perhaps some of those uh, chloral ligands from HCl. Okay, there we go. Thanks guys.